Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to tweet before we started, and I sent it just before it came in. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fantastic recap of this week's episode of the wonderful soap opera, Days of Our Lives, your dishing days. <laughs> and who are you dishing days with? Well, of course, you have me, your host, Tony Moore, and I'm joined by our lovely co-host, we have, with the long hair, don't care. <laughs> Mark J. Freeman. <laughs> and also, Peter Ramos. All right, and thank you guys so much for joining in on the conversation live with us um, via YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, share um, our YouTube uh, channel, After Buzz TV, and you can join in the conversation as well. And, it's and big thank hair, you. Don't care. Big hair, long hair, whatever. <laughs> also, thank you guys for hanging in with us. I know that we're starting late, but I just got back from Atlanta. From Yay. hosting the Dual Coast event in Atlanta, and it was a lot of fun. Glad you could make it. Thank you. I am running on no sleep. But Peter, I mute your computer. I would not oh, move this at all. No, it's off. And speaking of the, he said, move it. Oh. And speaking of the voice of of God in the booth, we have Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Hey guys, good to be here. Good to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. All right, so uh, Atlanta was great. Um, we there were a lot of fans. There was a lot of mixing and mingling with the stars of taken. a I lot of pictures Twitter were taken. And on yeah, I saw yes, and yes. We did this fun thing during the Q and A uh, where I tweeted out buzzwords, um, and so people had to ask a question to the stars, and they had to make them say the buzzword. And if ah. they said it, they had to do a dare. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> we had there? The, the the stars. Oh, the stars. So oh, we had okay. uh, there was Eric Marsoff who had to pretend like he was at a ballet recital and give us a little ballet. Dance. Is and, there any video of that? Uh, you know what? They, they can't do video. But if one oh. pops up, then that'll be fine. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, we do have a, a, a photo from uh, Mariana, who sent, tweeted me this photo, so I can show you just a little photo from Atlanta. Um, but I will promise I'll show more next week. So that whole, there he is. All right. So this is her. This is Mariana with the cast. And these are all the people that were there. Christopher Sean, Guy Wilson, uh, Daniel Carsgrove, Pat, uh, Patsy Pease was there, Eric Martzoff, Jen Lilly, Galen Gehring, and Cassie. <laughs> The Paiva. Paiva. I did it while I was there. I totally missed And I went up to her and I was like, Cassie, I'm so sorry. And she was like, just think of saliva. And I was like, the Paiva. Got it. So now it makes sense. All right, so let's get into this week of Days of Our Lives. And I'll... I'll (laughs) You tried it. Um, (laughs) So let's get into this week of Days of Our Lives. First of all... Uh, I want to start out by saying uh, Snooze Fest this week for it days. A, it, it was it was a little tough this week. The beginning of the week was very slow. Very, very slow. slow. Didn't pick up very till about slow. Wednesday. It picked Thursday. up, in my opinion, when Billy Flynn came on. on Thursday. Of course, it would pick up for you when Billy Thursday, Flynn. Thursday, I do that believe. Was Thursday. Was it Thursday? That was Thursday. Because I even oh. tweeted. This is really boring without. <laughs> without and Billy then the Flynn. next episode, he was like, "Oh, and I was like, oh, okay, there he is." Actually, it was Friday with Flynn. Flynn Friday. Flynn Friday's gonna be Flynn Friday's. Friday's. Oh, I love Flynn Friday. So um, <laughs> we'll start off with Man Crush uh, Monday too. Wait, what? Man, Man Crush, Crush Monday too. Oh boy. Uh, we'll start off with the Xander Serena storyline. Um, well, Alexandros. You know, I had to rewind that a couple of times to figure out the name because I was like, "Is Alexander? No, is Alejandro? Who? Alexandros. Alexandros. Yes. I, I just put the subtitles on, and that's how I figure it out. <laughs> oh, so you cheated a little bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I think it's ironic that all this happened on Greek Easter. This is the Greek Orthodox Easter weekend. This. So I thought it was funny that they. The Greek family. <laughs> Thank you Reunited for that. at Easter. Thank you for that tie-in. <laughs> Does my face say how interested I am in it? 
<laughs> okay, so uh, Serena gets her two hundred thousand dollars yes, this week, deposited in her bank. Finally. Yes, and uh, so I guess finally Xander's gonna get these diamonds. I'm guessing it was a PayPal. Like he just did it. Yeah, just PayPal. Just, yeah, just I don't you know, know how send he money, would deposit money in her. <laughs> well, you can as long as you have the the account number. Well, yeah, it's, it's, okay. Listen, but you know, Salem. it takes three to five days before you can get that transferred into your bank. Well, I mean, I it's, that. it's been about it's been about a couple. Well, I don't know. In well, Salem, with Salem, I'm sure it's probably right. Everything next can day. be ex- expedited in Salem. You can get to Hong Kong in one scene <laughs> if you need be. So, but yet one day still lasts a week, right? Um, and then we found <laughs> out that Xander is the nephew of Victor Kiriakis, her yeah. brother Alexander. Huh. Victor's brother. <laughs> I think see, I did the exact same thing when he. <laughs> yeah. See, he is the son of Victor's brother Alexander Kuriakis. Perfect, because you know that's that's Cook. that's before <laughs> before that was before I started watching Days. Listen, the first ver- the first memory I have of Days is Marlena being locked in a cage. That's that's the first time I started watching Days. I tried to learn about all the families, but that is confusing. I mean, <laughs> well, you he's need just a, he's just there's ne- his nephew, uncle. Okay, that's all we need to know. Justin's I felt, half brother. Listen, I felt like Brady when Brady was like, "Who are you?" <laughs> oh no, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, and then they hit, they did this whole story about yeah, how they Daniel, were Daniel Philip and and for two seconds I was confused. I was like, "You mean like Daniel Jonas?" Because didn't he come into Salem and everyone was like, "Who's this?" Yeah, that was before that's Victor saw him because um, he's he's his godson, right? But he's just the like only one. when just like when Xander came into Salem, no, you know, he didn't run into anybody he knew. It's tricky, tricky like how they do that. To, I was waiting for him to run into Adrian. I was waiting for him to run into... Not going to happen. Yeah. Because we did they think avoided. that it was, it was their son. Remember that? Th- that's that was what our, you said. Well, because okay, sorry. That's because what I said. you remembered that there was a son. Yes. Um, so, and that was pretty much that with that storyline. And, of course, some flirting because Teresa is all about some Xander. She did not waste any time. You know what? Poor Teresa. Nicole can't... is all about Xander. Well, but see, but Xander is all about some Nicole. No, but yeah. Nicole's playing hard to get. Teresa's yeah. like, Teresa's like oh, you, you want to go on, on that a table? date now? <laughs> did you, there's a table right here if you want to sit down. Did anybody notice that tweet that I sent out with, with Nicole's nails, how they changed within one day? Oh, no. She had fingered, Her fingertips were black and white, and uh, then like the next scene they were bright powder blue. Mm. And I was did just like, know, I'm usually oh, noticing she went that. To the, she went to the nail salon right She did. I did notice um, uh, Kate Mancy's nails were black. I just have an issue with black, black nails. nails. Why? Especially, and just, I'm not in general. What's wrong with black television, nails? Just on television. It just, they stand out so much. Mm. It just seems weird. And then they, she doesn't have long nails, so that bothers me too. Oh, uh, that's why she had no boyfriend. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, I still love her. Yeah, a lot of people are on, on the chat room are, are confused because they thought that Xander was going to be Sam's yeah. brother. See? Everybody's confused about this whole Xander thing. So yeah. we were on the same track with Brady. I know. Brady was like, who are you? Are you? And, and that's how it was. I was like, who's he? And who does he belong <laughs> to? I don't already. get it. You? You're getting yelled at? Daquan's yelling at you already? Hello, everybody. He heard that I dissed Melanie. Well, you could probably just wake up and go, Mark dissed Melanie. Yeah. Because I pretty much do it every day. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. Oh, and I love how Melanie and Jorge are best of friends now. Is it Jorge? Okay, we were talking. Oh, it is Jorge. Okay. I wrote down Julio because I couldn't remember. Racist. Okay, speaking of speaking of Melanie and and that whole storyline. Okay, so. Is it Jorge? It's Jorge. It's Jorge. So, clues are starting to unravel. Um, mm-hmm. First of all, Melanie, if you're going to steal something, try not to break it. <laughs> right. Like, keep it in your best of care. And she was just trying to... She was not even thinking about, like, getting with Brady and having a date night. She was trying to get that plasma <laughs> over to the lab. And I want to... We need to fact check, because what? I want to know how you find out from plasma if she... That she had a... I mean, she if didn't she have a baby, but she was pregnant. Right. I don't get what the plasma has to do with that. But I, I mean, I'm well, not plasma a plasma is like either. half of blood. It's the other half of blood. What well, blood is made up by plasma? Okay, and cool. Bill Nye, huh? Bill Nye, the science guy. You better <laughs> know about plasma. <laughs> well, but you yeah. remember Melanie did the EU search of plasma. So I guess if they if if she was pregnant, the time that they had taken it, because mm-hmm. remember they were like last fall. Oh, uh, okay. And so the time that she was taking it would have shown yeah. that she was pregnant. Like if she did she it now, pregnant. you yeah. know, she's not pregnant now because you know, baby got stolen. So okay. Yeah. So okay. I, I don't know. It's it's Salem it's Salem U Salem University Hospital. 
They are an easy right. search away from finding right. out everything. I was just laughing earlier because I was cracking up when Melanie was trying to get Jorge out of his office for his birthday so conveniently, and he gave him that big old stuffed white rabbit. Uh, that was apparently was so, was so hard to carry. <laughs> that was so... Okay, here, I was going to say this. And so that Brady clocked her by saying, didn't you just buy that for uh, Ariana? No, it was for uh, or, uh, Parker. Or, Parker, sorry. Yeah, that. But that, that's what I'm saying. It's like that, like when they come up with excuses, and it's like so I'm like really <laughs> nobody could have came up with a better idea than that but then I but I did like Serena's excuse when Nicole came in she's like oh it was Nicole Fuentes Nicole. oh, oh, oh that's right, yeah. talking about Nicole. Oh, and I yeah. was like oh actually that's not a, you know what I mean like there yes. could actually like that made she, sense so like, I like I like that Nicole's. and then I hated the stupid bunny thing and but Listen, stupid faces. The only the only thing that Melanie was trying to get to is that plasma. So right. if, if he had to run, if Jorge had to run downstairs and get uh, a bunny, then <laughs> that's what he had to do. <laughs> and then Teresa made fun of him for it. Oh. <laughs> and and, and <laughs> Teresa Teresa just into stuffed bunnies. <laughs> Teresa just running around being mean and boy crazy. She was yeah. She, she was needs a man. A rough she, week. She, she needs to find. You know they need to. Who could she be paired with? Who? Rafe. Teresa? Yeah. Rafe? Rafe, we could. Yeah. Or Xander. Taken by Nicole. No. Oh, but it could be another little... No, we don't need any more triangles. triangles. Listen, Daniel is... Daniel's already being too mean. So... Right, he has no oh, I stand agree on. with that. So I feel like Nicole should be like, you know what? This this guy is fresh and new, and I can start all over with him. So I'm going to go with Xander. And she's going to go back with the Karyakis. Victor? No. She's been with Karyakis before, so if she goes with Xander, she's going to go back with the Karyakis. Oh, back with the Karyakis. Well, I mean... Victor. Listen. What other Karyakis has she been with? Just Victor, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. She's going to go back with a karaoke. Okay. I, I thought there was m- multiple. I, I was trying to think. I was like, yeah, another one that... <laughs> you had us confused with the karaoke sisters. But <laughs> they could bring Philip back, and she could go with Philip. So, um, <laughs> we need to find... So, let us know who you think Teresa should be with. Um, you know, find a man in Salem, create a new one, whichever. Uh, let us know who you guys think uh, yeah. Teresa should be with. Um, so, um, what else is happening with this storyline with the Melanie Teresa story? What do you guys think? How, oh, what, how, it's, how it's developing and how Melanie is wandering around being Nancy Drew? Well, I think she's doing good. I th- like I said last week, I think Melanie really cares for Teresa, and I think part mm-hmm. of that is because of Brady. Right. You know, because she does care for Brady, and she wants all this to work out because there is a child involved. Well, and she did say that she's more so doing this for Brady, not for Teresa, but for Brady and mm-hmm. the fact that there might be this kid out there that belongs to him. Who's already born. Clearly. Right. I, I love the fact that... <laughs> and we still haven't seen him. Or her. Oh well, we did yeah, last we did. week. Well, I know. Like, yeah. Briefly, since last, since last week. How dare they? Do On a, that? that was a Monday. Too. No, that was a Tuesday. No, that was a Tuesday. Yeah, that was and Tuesday. then they just left it alone the entire time. I was like, um, I'm sorry, rude. <laughs> so, um, luckily though, um, Jorge decides to give Melanie another vial of plasma. Of plasma after all of a you know. All of a sudden, he's Team Melanie. Yeah, uh, after a team little Melanie. sweet talk. So good for her with that. Oh. Um. I think so too. Yeah. But she was so sloppy though. Not. She was so sloppy with like finding the, where the plasma is and everything because Jorge thought that it was Teresa that was going through the computer. Oh, that's right. Because right. she, she bumped the mouse. Yeah. But Come on. <laughs> how convenient. I'm just in Jorge's office just looking <laughs> that's for that's stuff. You move the mouse course. and the computer comes on. I can believe that. But he, but it's on a laptop. There's no mouse connected. Well, but if you. Uh uh-uh. uh. You. I mean, you literally would have to go. And who, oh, it's gone. And I'm sorry. <laughs> the chat's gone. Oh, there it is. Back. And who no, in he the, just messed up my chat. Who at the at the sorry. And it's who at right. the hospital doesn't have a locked computer so that when you step away from it, it's locked. Not everyone's as paranoid as you. <laughs> no, that's called that's called <laughs> it's a work computer. Working, you that's shouldn't be working doing in an bad office. things on it anyway. It's called working in an office. Okay. Yet he's still going to help her and lie for her. Someone in the chat room said Nicole's been with Brady, who is also Karyakis, because of his mother. That's true. Okay, that well, there true. we go. That is and then true. someone said that Teresa should be with Chad. Chad, which I would not mind. Team. Keep each other on their toes, like EJ and Sammy. Okay, I can see that. I don't think they should put Teresa with anyone else under the... Okay. R. Melvin, you finish that thought. I think Teresa... <laughs> <laughs> I think Teresa finish would... If Teresa was a Chad, I would see her like an Anna Demira. 
Okay. Like I could see her. Teresa that. with Chad. Is that what you yeah, if Teresa yeah. with Chad together. I could see them like a Tony and Anna Demiro kind of couple. I mean, we're still I, waiting I for. Those couple. We're still waiting for. I mean, I know he's got a lot going on right now, but we're still waiting Chad. for uh, Paul and Teresa to become GBFFs. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Paul. <laughs> Listen, Paul has a lot on his plate. So yeah, he's. I said he's got a lot going on. He doesn't yes. have time to deal with the the GB. Is that me? Oh, that's no, you. That's is that me? That's that's me. Oh, oh my God, that is me. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so speaking of Paul, I mean, because I feel like we have gone through whatever it is we need to go through with that storyline. Um, <laughs> Paul will Sunny. I. N- Sorry, I'm just hearing things. I know, I'm hearing that too. <laughs> Steven, what are you doing in the They're booth? watching Salem in the next room over, guys. Uh, I was okay. like, say, I was like, I hear some screams and moans. Yeah, I'm like, what that is does that not sound? sound good. But what are you doing in that booth? <laughs> all right, so Paul, Will, Sonny, big week for them. First of all, Will, 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 Will. <sighs> I can't. I can't. Hashtag I can't even. Paul <laughs> did not seduce you. Right. Thank you. He keeps going around p- putting oh the blame on Paul as if, as if, and we say this week after week, and he keeps doing it, and now he finally has somebody believe in him. Clueless John. Right. Yeah, and John, I was ready to jump to the TV and punch him when he's like, yeah, well, I saw them in the office and they were totally totally drinking the I was like, really? Do we really need to fan that flame? Come on. No pun intended. (laughs) Well, first of all, if John John knew the complete story about about Sonny and Paul, then that that little thing would make sense. And he wasn't listening to it. But he said and listened to Will. Of course. I mean, hello, Sammy Jr. in the making. Just running around right. pointing fingers at everyone else yeah, except himself. And again, John has no leg to stand on. No, judging. he doesn't. Because he cheated one with Marlena. He did. Who do you cheat on? Huh? Kristen. With, yes. I remember that. And Marlena and Roman. Yep. Listen. And then Sammy caught them. Everybody. <laughs> and that, and that's why that's why Sammy <laughs> turned into the way that she did yeah, because she did. of that whole situation. Um, but, I mean, let's face it. Everyone in Salem has cheated on someone. So why is everyone surprised? Why is everyone trying to <laughs> play hasn't. like victim? I was going to say Paige hasn't. Paige hasn't. Parker hasn't. Yet. Not yet. Neither has He is Chloe's son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Um, and Daquan... Thank you for the compliment on my hair, but I still don't like Melanie. <laughs> Rude. Um, He's trying to schmooze me into uh, liking Melanie. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, um, and then Wi- uh, Sonny, <laughs> Sonny is trying to, like, question Will because he finds the article. But did he... No, so he, but, found, he just found the cover of the article. He, he actually but it didn't that article. say that he no. was a Demera? Yeah. Yes, it said that so, he was a Demera. So Sonny went into that thinking he's no, a Demera. He didn't know that he was a Sonny did write. Sonny did read the article because he found the picture in the article. No, he just saw the picture. No, he just so, saw the picture. Will had already deleted the article. There was just a couple. Well, see, I thought no, he deleted no, no. the picture. No, no, personally. no. Now, remember, the the the... the, the, uh, the first page of the article was Paul in the mm-hmm. red shirt, and yeah. it said the three strikes, like and the last one, he's a Demera. Mm-hmm. Now, he, Sonny also said, in the article, which he read it, there was the photo of Tori in front of... With the, the date. The, with the date and all that. So he couldn't have not read the article, because if he didn't, he would have came across the photo. Which article are you talking about? The first one? The fake one. The second one. Uh, but not the fake one. Yeah, the, the second, second one. one. The second one but that he was blackmailing them with. It wasn't even written yet. It was written. <laughs> no, I don't. Was it written? I, I, I don't it remember was written. being written. I don't think it was. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, was the article written? <laughs> um, YouTube people he actually help read me the out. article. <laughs> Thank she you. Says, Who said that? Tondra. Oh. He actually Tondrea read the, Williams. Thank you, Tondrea Williams. They tried to act like I was silly up in here and like, oh no, he ain't finished. He didn't finish writing it. He did oh, finish writing eyes. it because he saw the picture in the article. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Okay. Anyway, so you're welcome. Um, so he tries to have Will explain to him. He like dropped a whole lot of hints as to like what this new article was and um, because Zoe who well, had a Zoe was B-O-T. on fire she was a B-O-T. I loved when she said to Marlena are you the babysitter <laughs> <laughs> I was like no she did it 
that Marlena's she, face. She had, she had no, like, Marlena was basically in her way. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, and, and she was not having it. And no. they were all worried that Will was going to get fired when actually she, she loves the publicity that's, that they're getting yeah. about the whole, like, scandal and everything. Um, but, um, Uh, no, I lost, I lost my train of thought. I totally forgot where I was going with that. So, um, so with the article, Sonny was trying to get Will to say what it was, what this, you know, bombshell article that he had, and he mentioned some, like, thing that was not anywhere near what the article was. And then, of course, Sonny walks out, and he's like, you're still lying to me. And I'm like, oh, why don't you say that inside? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did do that. I think yeah. he's... I think he's uh, I think he wanted to see if he was going to lie, Yeah, too. and he did. Yeah. I mean, that just pushes him further away from Will. It does. And it's like, Will, like, Will, you have the power to fix this, and you're not fixing it. Right. Yeah. He's I blaming see, everyone else. Yeah. I see. I, I, I hate comparing um, couples to couples, and I keep on doing this. But Paul and Will is like Lucas and Sonny. Like, Lucas just puts up with Sonny's BS, and I think Sonny's put, putting up with Will's BS. Lucas is putting up with Sonny's? I mean, Sammy's BS. Oh, all Sammy. The time. Sorry, okay. Lucas is putting up with Sammy's BS all the time. So I was like, when did Lucas date Sonny? <laughs> I must have missed that episode. Sorry, sorry, Hashtag sorry. Hashtag pizza sorry. rolls on sorry, that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> No, um, I'm just like, and he's just putting up with with Will's BS all the time, and he's not doing anything about it. Right. I'm I'm looking in the chat room, and everyone. Everyone loves Zoe, so everyone. <laughs> yeah, Zoe, I actually like her. I, up I like Lucas. her too. Every, everyone actually, thought oh she was God, a bit of a bitch, but Zoe and Lucas were paired up. Oh, <laughs> I have a prediction. What? Well, I'll wait for well, we'll get to predictions. I, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> you reminded me of my prediction. Um, and an Daquan said. Where are and Derek? Where are you? Derek is at the yeah. hotel calling tabloids and letting them know what's happening in the Derek hotel. Derek needs to come back. I, I think he is. I think, I think he, he is eventually he is. coming I back. I hope he does. Yeah, yeah I think so. yeah. he's a good character. I think I think he's coming back. You just like him. I do. Right. Did you, that was, he was my first tweet. Oh my god. <laughs> and of course, the biggest. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Lucas so, and Sunny, Lonnie, Lonnie. Lonnie. <laughs> so um, and then Marlena's whole like speech with Tori going in saying like well John said that you guys had an affair and blah blah blah, blah. and I'm like when did John tell you all that information he did say that he, he was said a seen carnival. somebody right but I don't I don't yeah cause when she pulled him aside he was, she was like oh, how do you know Tori he actually admitted to her that it was an affair Tori Simpson yeah Tori Simpson her, 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 what was she called it? Her professional name. Her profe- professional, her professional, professional name. name. What was it? Well, and then today she said like, Stefano's Stefano. idea. So was she a prostitute? <gasps> I don't know. Another one. Listen. Well, I'm just saying she said it was her profession. She was young. Like, well, I, she like I said last week, anything. the only way to confirm that is if Kate walks by and goes, <laughs> Tori, <laughs> how are you? Tori, I haven't girl. seen you since our hooking days. <laughs> Yeah, That'd be so amazing. so that's yeah, so that's the only way that that will work out. Um, Speaking of Kate, <laughs> when Kate what? was eavesdropping on Lucas and Adrian, and she was just oh. glaring from across TBD. Glaring. By the way, Club TBD, it's it's not even a club. I was gonna say that. Is it a coffee shop? It's a coffee shop. I think is it, it a restaurant? Is it all I of think the above? It used to be like a coffee shop during the day and a club at night. Since when? I but I don't ever really remember it being a club. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do drink because every once in a while. Loose, what does it say? Loose lips. Loose sink lips. Relationships. Sink relationships. That's true. Sink, yes. Oh look, he didn't get a chance to finish it because you still see the dots around it. <laughs> get it together, Stephen. <laughs> He's working on it. Hush, hush you. you. <laughs> hashtag hush you. How about hashtag have several <laughs> seats? Have several. There you go. Um, did Marte Dare was it? Yes, I'm coming, Corey. I tried it. Tony's having a fight with the monitor. <laughs> oh look, um, hello James. James, you, James, James, James came in and um, and uh, sat in for me when I wasn't here. But he put a hashtag hooker in arms hooker for in Kate arms. and Tori. Yeah, there you go. Hashtag hello James. Thank you. Um, <laughs> So, what else was happening? Oh, wait, what's it? It says Derek is on comings and go- going spoilers that he's coming back. Yeah, yes. awesome. Oh, Nicole, Sweet. while you're going to make pizza rolls, send us some, too. She just said, damn it, Tony, I'm going to make pizza rolls. Yeah. And it's funny that, that Kate is actually supporting Lucas about her and then Adrian, because she's like, the heart, no, she's the heart not. wants what the heart wants. She, so let me she t- told him. Lucas is a full-grown man who apparently still can't date. <laughs> 
<laughs> because of Kate. <laughs> and I didn't Clyde mean for tells, that to rhyme. Clyde tells Kate, he would maybe. Uh, yeah, I, he's I, like, she's I, like, no. Yeah. So he's like, do you it's, want you to give Lucas a little room? So no. No. It's like, hello, Kate, can we realize from the past when you tried to interfere with Lucas and Philip's relationships that they all kind of ran awry? Hello, $5 million to marry Lucas. We all remember that? Yes, yes we do. Um, so, yeah, she should definitely stay out of it. But before we get into that tidbit, going back to the Paul Will, oh, Paul Will Sunny storyline. John we didn't, Tory. Yes, John, Tory, Marlena. <laughs> the epic meeting that happened at Club TBD. When TBD is so dead. So dead. At oh, this time I, of day. I, I, yeah, I love that, day, I love that explanation. Fun. We're so slow right now that I sent everyone home, except for the barista who's in, working in the back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Exposition, exposition, exposition. So that so that we don't go, oh, why is there no one in Club TBD, TBD for this big ball drop? Right. <laughs> and I mean, even if there was, who cares? Some. You know the, what I mean? Like, the, who cares the if there were people reporter. in there? He may be there. That sleazy reporter from last week. Well, even if there were people in there, like, I don't get why that's a big deal. Well, because you know they mean? would find out that John is Because false. then they would tweet about it and they may Facebook about it. So if no one's pictures. there, it's just a secret between them. Well, then why do it at You TV? have to think with the days Then why, does it, why isn't it like, meet me at Where? some... Horton Square? Well, because, <laughs> granted, it started off with just Will coming to Club TBD. Because Paul asked, Paul asked uh, Sonny to call Will, Will to Club TBD. No, uh, it was Mom first. Well, Tori first yes, to come there. It was and Tori, then, and then it was and then Will. Will. And then John, John was like, along. oh, well, I got to pick up some stuff from Sonny, so I'll yeah. go, too. And then Marlene was like, do, 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 how are y'all yeah, doing? Exactly. Oh, we'll all go into Club TBD together. And when <laughs> Paul went off on on his mom, because his mom was still trying to catch that flight. They have been trying to catch that flight to San Francisco <laughs> for the past <laughs> week. And she was almost out of there until Paul finally talked about everything. And then here comes Clueless John. Tori, why are you talking to him? <laughs> Who are and you? then Marlena's like, that's that's his mom. And then Will, what's going on? You're the first person that figured it out. Yeah, He's the one that put this whole thing in motion. Right. Yes, by killing that article because you realized that and it was John that was Sonny the father. And said, shut up or something. He's like, he's like, shut just, your mouth. Shut yeah, your just listen. Yeah. I was that's like, yes. Silly. You should have just said it louder. Neat so, in Dark Park, yes. So, yeah, so I was I was very happy that finally Days had finally picked up then with that big reveal. But I feel like that was the only big thing that kind of happened this week. Like, everything else was just kind of like day in the life of Salem. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like a filler week. Actually, yeah. Except for the end for Friday. Yeah. yeah. Kind of build you up so. to Friday. Um, some other tidbits that we should mention. Stefano made an appearance. Short one. Short one. Only Talking. to t- only to tell Chad that there's going to be a phone call made about Kevin Reynolds, which is Ben's old. Well, we, oh. But we knew that Ben Ben's name was Kevin because wasn't it? Pe- wasn't it changes it Paige? every it changes every every time they go every two new times right. new name. But if you think back to a few months ago, I think it was Paige that was like. That's right. Isn't your name Kevin? Like she we met, saw you in Miami, Miami or yeah, Florida or something like that. And Florida. He, yeah. He's like no. Yeah. That wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was getting pizza rolls. Probably. But I remember <laughs> that. So it's funny that they, they kind of brought that back full circle. Um, I do notice that when I'm watching, I tend to drift. And I'm like, oh, wait, what just happened? <laughs> See? <laughs> See? It's my ADD. Um, so. Oh, can I ask? I, I Maybe I missed this part. I don't know. I don't know mm-hmm. if you did. I don't know. But when uh, Abby went to go visit Chad at mm-hmm. the Demira mansion, mm-hmm. yes. she came in and she was confronting him, you know, mm-hmm. asking him all these questions. And mm-hmm. then he brought in that dinner. Yes. And then she was like, oh, you're trying to da-da-da-da, you know, this whole plan. She's like, oh, look, you got sushi, my favorite sushi. And he had, like, this smirk on yeah, his face. Yeah, I think he's has another date or something. I was going to say that. I looked like he, it was for somebody, somebody else. else. I, thought, I thought that, too. But then I thought he knew how she would react. Like, it's almost kind of like he he's, did it on purpose. He's two steps ahead of her. Oh, absolutely. Because going over to to Ben's and then she was there right. and then trying to be all awkward and then he walked out. He had the smirk on his face then. Yeah. And then she gets the text. Oh, I need to talk to you. She comes over and then conveniently. Oh, there's it. Because let's face it, who's who is he dating? Well, probably nobody. I'm guessing yeah, that there's nobody on Monday he's gonna be like. 
oh, I'm expecting somebody else. Like, no one even has to show up. He's not She's just going to be like... It's Roxanne. <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> that would be exciting. But yeah, but it's just, he. it's almost We're like... Zoe. It's a, oh my God. <laughs> they would they wouldn't even get through a dinner together because Zoe would be so yeah. focused on work in an article. But I feel like uh, I don't I don't know I don't understand why Chad is doing all this for Abigail. He's trying to get Abigail. He's making it look like he's just being a nice guy yeah. when he really knows that it's gonna woo her back. It's working. Right. Well, she I mean, chases him like a puppy dog now. Yeah. Where she he didn't when he was like really into her and like being obvious she was like I don't want anything to do with you now he's baiting coy which is and that works fantastic. that works with Abby um, <laughs> did you see right there where it says Ben and Abby all they do is have sex because they have nothing else in common yeah exactly <laughs> oh my gosh what is what, uh, hold on apparently uh, Amber t- baby said something oh I can't scroll up to see it what they oh oh my god Ben Abby are so dull apparently everyone is agreeing with that well maybe yeah. that, that's why they're trying to kick something in with this whole Chad fed thing but then the Clyde the fed thing. Ugh. but then Clyde said that he'll take care of it the Florida Bureau of Instiga- Investigation the FBI <laughs> really no I think it's Florida yeah, yeah, they said Florida, Florida Bureau of Inst- oh, did they? Investigation. Yeah. Dumb. <laughs> did we we didn't talk about um what? The new elephant. Oh the oh the new <laughs> artifact to replace the no, elephant? That's not what I meant. Oh that little cup. The one. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I want oh. to burn that jacket. Oh, it's so dumb. It's so, just so obsessive now. She's getting a borderline creepy now. First of all, how do you just at the clothing drive and decide it's the jacket? I'm just gonna steal it. I know. No, it just it she did, and I didn't understand. No, she didn't buy it. She no, stole it. No, because Teresa said that that she that somebody saw her walk out with the jacket when she was paying for it. But who? I thought no, she stole that jacket. Y'all <laughs> agree with no, me or not? No, you want to talk about stealing? You two? You want to talk about stealing? Did Eve did, steal the jacket? Want, the jacket. You want to talk about stealing? Did anybody notice Teresa stealing the hand sanitizer and just putting it in her purse after she used it? <laughs> no. no. Like when what she hand sanitizer? Like doing it. When she was talking to JJ, she took the hand sanitizer off the the, the shelf and she was putting it. She was putting that, and now she's talking to him. She puts it in her purse and just takes off with it. Rude. I was laughing. Rude. <laughs> oh God, the she's jacket. The jacket is the new <laughs> elephant. It is. Uh, um, someone did say, uh, Daquan said, wait, Victor threatened Will? Yes. Yes. Victor had his goons. First oh, of all, I loved that, that he did that. First really of all, that. who does that anymore? We haven't had that done in like forever. And all of a sudden, you send goons to go get Will as if you couldn't call him and say, come to the house? But that, I know, but I love that he did it. And I love that he was just like, and if you say anything, mm-hmm. he's going to visit you again. Yeah. I love that. I was like, yes. Uh, I also had another idea. Uh, what? Um, was when um, Mr. Jonas was on his tirade that is so obnoxious. I think I even wrote in my notes at one point, um, Dan annoying or something. (laughs) Over Daniel, that's what I wrote. Um, I had an idea because he had the scene with Eve and oh, she was apartment? like, you know, yell, yeah, she was. They were arguing and stuff, and he, she was kind of calling him out and stuff. Mm-hmm. And my first thought was, she should hit him with the car like she did to Sarah. <laughs> she you should have said, awful. "You better stay out of the street because I'm going to hit you." <laughs> you guys are so awful. Like so awful. So awful, Sarah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and a lot of fans agree that that jacket should be burned. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. Uh, I, but you know, the jacket is going to play into it somehow because already Paige is you know, already questioned Eve about if they're hooking up again, who, like, who is, and now she wants to know who he is, and JJ's all freaking out and acting weird. With the flashbacks, he was picturing him and Oh, Eve. yeah, while, while he was, <laughs> while he was making out with Paige on the couch, all of a sudden he has a flashback oh, to when he did it with Eve. and can we talk about Serena in bed with Eric thinking about, I'm like, what, if you're in bed... <laughs> I don't know what's going. There's nothing that important. If you're in bed with uh, Eric, Br- are you kidding me? I would have been like, Psh, "We're done. Get out the bed." That whole moment of like, "What's wrong?" I just realized how much I love you. <laughs> Aren't you currently showing it? Right. Hashtag. What about your, how much you What love? about your mother? She, your mother had a funny line this week. Oh, that's right. Oh, what I've been waiting say? all my I life to say, say this. this. She went, she went that way. way. <laughs> I love it. Oh, speaking of that, so while I was in Atlanta, I totally told everyone to hashtag me um, 
with Maxine's son and send it to NBC Days. Uh, okay, so perfect. if you guys are on the Make Tony Maxine's son, um, what is it? Was Thomas? It, was it Thomas Larson? Yes. Larson? So if you're on that train, Larson, make sure yeah. you tweet me no, and at NBC okay, so Days, what's, what's Maxine hashtag Maxine's son. If you heard that, let me repeat it. <laughs> so if you want to, if you are on the Maxine son train to make me Maxine son, tweet me and NBC Days, hashtag Maxine son. Because that, well, <laughs> apparently that time I could I could do it all the way through without the peanut gallery. <laughs> Wait, there was another one I was gonna say was when um, Teresa at early in the week when Teresa came over to Eve's and they were talking, and she said, um, she, uh, and then they were talking about going to the clothing drive to pick up men, which oh. I thought was absolutely hysterical. <laughs> and then Teresa says to Eve, "Every man's your type." Yeah. <laughs> When ironically they great. both have the same type. Right, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're wearing um, sheer desperation perfume, <laughs> apparently anyone would be your type. Anyone wearing that jacket. Oh my God. <laughs> That jacket. Uh, was there anything else? That, I mean, I think that was I pretty much it. I kind of just looked through mine. I didn't really have much more. Did you no, have I didn't else? have anything so, else either. Xander Cook. Yeah, Xander Cook, his mom. That's it. JJ and Paige doing it. We talked about yeah, that. Yeah, they're going to. And then we have a. Uh, oh, we'll do that, I guess, news and gossip All right. next week. Yeah, well, let's go into our favorite part of the show, which is our three segments. And we will oh. start with my favorite, the Three Stamps Awards. <laughs> As it should be. Should now, be for this week, I had to give it to one of the hardest working nurses at the hospital. Yep. Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> Jorge, Jorge is very sassy, yet very knowledgeable of his job, mm -hmm. and a very hard, dedicated worker. And he stays on top of things. He knows how many plasma bars are supposed to be in there. And when one went missing, he was on the case. But then he <laughs> gave up one because he wanted to keep his friends. So my three snaps award goes to Jorge. Thank you. <laughs> was that, was that a I love it. I love it. All right. And now our WTF moment of the week. Oh, God. Where do I begin? Oh, no. I'm just kidding. Uh, With a W. Right. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Anyways, so my WTF is going to go out to John. It has to go out to John. Clueless John. Clueless John. I'm like, WTF John, you are totally drinking Will's Kool-Aid and following in his mm -hmm. insanity. And you are not even questioning it. He is just totally like spewing Going out along with it. Yeah, anything he spews out, Will's like, oh yeah, that's exactly right. This is exactly right. He was seducing me, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm just like, John, you are much smarter than this. You worked in the police force. You worked in the yeah. Secret Service. But you see, were an assassin. Do you, you hear, were a do you hear what you started off with? He worked in the police force. We all know how <laughs> yeah, helpful exactly. Salem PD are. Exactly. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so well, that's my WTF. It goes out to John Black. And now we have Mark's quote. Who is week? it this week? This week would happen to be my diva in crime, Teresa. I guess she hasn't really done anything in crime, but um, you know, it was when she she had a couple moments there with Jorge <laughs> in that office. But my quote of the week is when she said to Jorge, "Oh, save it! You're the one who plays with stuffed bunnies." We have a psych ward, by the way. You should check it out sometime after you fill out the damn papers I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, yeah. and she did blow a kiss. Not that time. Not that I time. love when she blew the kiss. Yeah. Yeah. And that has been Mark's quote. Quote of the week. Um, so that's that. And so, of course, what? Oh, in the chat room, someone says, anytime the jacket makes an appearance this next week, we should drink. Somebody's going to be oh. drunk. <laughs> yeah. Someone is going to be like so a drunk. Game. Yeah. Yes, when I that agree. jacket appears. And did you guys see? I I fast forward through commercials. I don't think you even see them on because you watch them on YouTube, right? Yeah. You don't. Did you do you watch commercials at oh, all? I fast forward them. That's why. Because there was a Totino's pizza roll commercial. <laughs> That oh. was like blasted crust or something. They have a new oh God. Uh, thing on it. Nicole so took I the words it. right out of my mouth. John's a member of the Salem PD, and they are all clueless. When did they last solve a case? Right. <laughs> Amen, Joseph. Um, Amen. And thank you, James, Jorge. Oh, but hashtag creepy mustache. <laughs> and thank you guys, thank you guys for if, if you guys are on the East Coast for staying up so late. Yes, I don't know we got a late start today, but we have 44 people watching us yes. live. Thank you guys. I saw Susie Morales is in there, Smithley. 
Daquan, Joseph Bozo. I always feel like it's Romper Room. <laughs> Tom, I know. Romper, Bomper, Tom Stomper, Tom Boo. Tondrea brings up a good point. <laughs> Are they even looking for the person that stabbed Sonny? Nope. Nope. That's already That's true. They're, they're not. They kind of t- stopped, huh? You know why they're not? Because Victor probably put in the call and said, don't worry about it. Hashtag Pete's Rolls. Thank you, Melvin yes. fan. Um, so, continuing uh, from last week, uh, Days is celebrating their 50th year. And so, we would like to take you back to hashtag those were the days. <laughs> He's been waiting to say it. Oh. And we're going to talk about hey, storylines wow. from yesterday's. <laughs> I did again. Yesterday. So From yesterday. So, Peter, oh, let's okay. talk about this wonderful storyline. I love to call this storyline the tale of two moms. Mm-hmm. I posted this on our on our Facebook a while, I think last week or yeah, the week before, weekend. of the whole storyline. And it's kind of making a comeback, uh, this storyline, with the whole, you know, Teresa, Brady, Brady and Kristen, Kristen thing. So, mm-hmm. if anybody remembers back in the day, when Philip, when uh, actually Kate was pregnant with Philip, and Vivian decided to steal the embryo from Kate and insert it into herself and give birth to Philip, and that was a secret for quite some time mm-hmm. until Kate figured it out, and uh, so now Philip has two moms. Wow, you know what? <laughs> I love that story. I mean, I, I know I was very brief about it, but it's it's so vast. It I, you know what I wish people story. would do? I can't just go. <laughs> I, w- I wish when when storylines are like that recycled, like they come back in town and go, been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Kate needs to say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once it all comes back, been there. Yeah, isn't that picture issues. amazing? I love that picture. That's so a great picture. So what I, a family photo. What we would like to do here, we're gonna start bringing you guys uh, interviews with uh, some of the cast of Days of Our Lives and some of the uh, past cast members. So uh, if you could tweet us or message us on our Facebook page, Dish and Days, uh, using hashtag. Those were the days. Let us know which past uh, cast members you would like to see here with us. And we're going to do our best to do one-on-one interviews with them, catch up with them, and uh, find out what they're doing now and how they felt about their time on days. Because those were the days. Yesterdays. <laughs> Yesterdays. Everybody's, like everybody's cheering yeah. about this storyline yeah. here. Everybody's remembering this whole storyline with Vivian, Kate, yeah. and Philip. Yeah. It's an amazing one. I love it. All right. Classic. So let's go into some news and gossip. <laughs> After Buzz TV News. <laughs> that was fantastic. Ooh, I love it. Thank you, Steven. We Thanks for that, that, that live audio. <laughs> we need to do that now. That needs to be all the time. All right? the time. All the time. <laughs> all right. So um, I don't know if you guys uh, have known about this, but uh, uh, no Daquan. Days of Our Lives started a contest in Australia uh, to fill a new role that has been out for an Australian doctor who's very rugged. Um, and so Yay. Foxtail, or Arena, uh, in Australia has conducted conducted this uh, search for the next Days of Our Lives star. And these are the three finalists. Uh, we have Andrew Steele, Alexander Bruce, Bruce, him, and Tom Danzel. So those are the three finalists who may w- end up winning. Which one would you pick? Which one would I pick? As a doctor for days. An Australian doctor? Yeah. I would go with Andrew. Right. Mm. Yeah. Who would looks, you go with? He looks too much like Aiden. He looks too American. No, he looks too Aiden. A little bit. Who would you go with? He, goes, he looks too much like Brady. I would go with the middle one. He looks, like he looks like Xander. Yeah, he looks like Xander. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Look, Look at that. that. Totally right. has as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, Xander. That's, and that's yeah. not Brady? No. no. Oh, God. <laughs> They're going to choose Tom. Yeah, you I think so. I, see, I think so too. Because he's so. he's clean cut yeah. and he looks like he's wearing a white coat already. No, but you they, know what to look like as a doctor. But they want a rugged doctor, so I think it's going to go to Andrew. Yeah, but if he lets his beard grow a little bit. But I'm not talking about the current Brady. I'm talking about the Brady before this Brady. Andrew Kyle looks Lally? immature. Alexander looks like a douche, and Tom looks like he could be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys let us know who you think they're going to choose. Will it be term. Andrew, douche. Alexander, douche. or Steven Tom? Steven is awesome. Yes. <laughs> but one of them will win a 13 week contract uh, with Days of Our Lives very similar to uh, I want to be a soap star yeah, so you want to be oh, a so soap you star, be a star which a little tidbit I actually auditioned for that season did you? I did because I wanted to be a soap star a Days of Our Lives soap star what was that auditioning process like? Um, from what I remember I, I went to New York for the open call mm-hmm. and uh, you had to do like an improv scene and then you came back and did a monologue 
Um, I put them to sleep with my monologue because I was so tired. Because what did you do? Uh, well, I Macbeth? didn't do well. I will say that. No, they gave us monologues to do, oh, and okay. so um, I literally flew in the day before. Um, went to New York, d did all that, then had the audition, killed the, the improv, but when it came to the uh, the actual monologue, I was so tired. Like, everything was... I, I fell asleep in Central Park going over wow. my monologue. So when I presented it to them, it was a snoo fest. I was like... They looked at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I knew... I was not the next soap star. <laughs> but I did watch that season, and the winner of that was Holland Reed. So she played Crystal. Was it Crystal? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was kind of during the time where I stopped watching Days, but I, I don't remember. And Crystal. not because I was bitter. I just remember a van in that scene Yeah. with her. I don't know. Don't Let's know. see. A lot of people are saying Tom, that Tom looks like a doctor. Yeah, I think Tom, too. So we will see. Daquan, we agree. What does he say? He says Tom, because oh. I said Tom, too. Joseph said, I agree with Steven. If they want looks, Tom, Rugged Andrew, agree with Tony. See? I think they're going to go with Rugged. I'm just saying. I think we should make a bet. Tony, any guy can grow facial hair and look rugged. And thank you. Exactly. Steven being one of them. <laughs> Except Tony. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> Tony All doesn't right. look rugged. <laughs> well, I just look prim and proper. Um, in other news, um, they... Oh. Yes. I was gonna say the um, the thing I I posted it on Facebook that there possibly could be another baby. What? No. That oh. Not just Teresa's baby, but that Abigail was actually pregnant. Oh. So when she went in to the to get tested and the, it wasn't because I, I do believe it was Stefano's doctor that wanted to examine her. Yes. That the back story then. is that they removed the embryo so that there's two babies coming back, two Demera babies. That's oh. too much. One being Abigail's, one being Teresa's. That's too much. We don't need that many babies. I mean, well, we Teresa's isn't generation. technically a, um, it isn't a Demera, obviously, but that Abigail and EJ are, had a baby together. Right. Which I think would be. Hot damn good. And then that's when Allison Sweeney comes back and steals the baby and then goes back to wherever she was. <laughs> she I like has that. three kids with her. Right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, also. But I did have a prediction too, didn't if I? You, yeah, but we haven't gotten there yet. We haven't gotten there yet. Um, oh, if yeah. you guys want to see the reels that were submitted oh, for yeah. the Emmy nominations, um, they have all posted that. Like Peggy McKay's uh, reel included her speech that she did at Will and Sonny's. Um, uh, wedding. Make sure you guys go to poptv.com, click on uh, Daytime Emmy Emmys, and they have the uh, the reels there, so make sure you check that out. And again, make sure you uh, tweet us, hashtag those were the days, to let us know who you would like to see from yesterday's here on our show. <laughs> Alright, so let's go into we some predictions. We did see Jack's book. Once again, we yeah. saw Jack's book. This and now, you're after Buzz TV. Just saying, where's well, your copy? So you you wanted you wanted Jack to come back, right? I do. And there he was. In the back of the book. Well <laughs> There he was. Days was 50, yay. But I'm hoping yay. this is <laughs> foreshadowing. Because they do that sometimes. When someone's gonna come back, they'll drop little hints. So I'm thinking that maybe, maybe. But anyways, my prediction, I had a prediction. I thought of this at the when we were talking about uh, Lucas and um, Adrian, which I'm going to say again, I'm really not minding as much as you guys. I don't know. It doesn't bother me as much. It's so too to... fast. It's too fast. I don't even think it's too fast. It just doesn't... I don't know. I'm, anyway. It's too fast. But regardless, there's no, there's no this, build. This was my idea, because we all know that Wally... Kurth. Kurth is coming back. Yes. He got rid of his GH contract, mm -hmm. and he's coming back to Days. Um, but I'm thinking Elsa's got to come. To Salem, right? I mean, she's got to be there. I'm just thinking of Elsa. I mean, which our Elsa. I mean, Frozen week. Elsa. Um, <clears throat> but my thought is that when Elsa comes, she's going to run into Lucas. And I think then she's going to kind of fall for Lucas, and then it's going to cause this thing with Adrian because now. No, she's going to get jealous? Yeah. That was my thought. I don't think Elsa's coming. I think Elsa's going to come. Mm. I do. How about Elsa? And a so snowflake. She's going to come in a snowflake. Um, but what we but did Olaf. see in, in predictions was that Kristen <laughs> is, does come back to Salem, and there is the baby. I think they're going to name him Olaf. The baby? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> we got to keep with the frozen thing. I know. Um, so we will see how next week develops. I'm very excited to have Eileen Davidson 
back yeah. as Kristen. Is she coming back next week? Next week, yeah. yeah. Next yes. week. Yes. Finally. Yes. I just said she was coming back. Uh, Sorry, I was thinking of Olaf. <laughs> and the hot summer days. <laughs> and the hot summer days. <laughs> Big summer blowout, you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that has oh been your day's God. recap for this week. Before we head out, Mark, why don't you let the like fine folks center. know that where they can find you? They can find me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm not on Instagram as much, but Twitter at Lorraine Love, L O R A Y N E L O V E, or Facebook backslash the Mark J Freeman. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Real Dooligan. And you can also find all of us on our new Facebook page, uh, backslash Dish and Days. And of course, you can find me on all social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at Lounging with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. Thank you guys for staying up late with us. We will be Thank back you. next Thank Sunday you. at our regular time, 6 p.m. Pacific Thanks Standard back. Time. And this has been Dish, Dish and Days. days. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 